हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो ऑफ यांत्रिकी ऑटोमोबाइल इंजीनियरिंग के इस लेक्चर में आप सभी का स्वागत है और आज डिस्कस करेंगे कुछ क्वेश्चंस जो ए के एग्जाम्स में इंपॉर्टेंट हो सकते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स एट विच द क्लच गेयर बॉक्स यूनिट इज सपोर्टेड ऑन द चासी फ्रेम इज थ्री थ्री पॉइंट्स एट विच द क्लच गेयर बॉक्स यूनिट इज इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद द चासी फ्रेम क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वेट ऑफ द व्हीकल प्रोड्यूसेज इन द साइड मेंबर्स ऑफ द फ्रेम विच टाइप ऑफ बेंडिंग इज इट वर्टिकल बेंडिंग हॉरिजेंटल बेंडिंग टॉर्शन और ऑल ऑफ दीज सो द राइट आंसर इज वर्टिकल बेंडिंग द फ्रेम मे गेट डिस्टॉर्टेड टू अ पैरलोग्राम शेप ड्यू टू वेट ऑफ द व्हीकल वेट ऑफ द पैसेंजर्स कॉर्नरिंग फोर्स व्हील इम्पैक्ट विद रोड ऑब्स्टेकल सो राइट आंसर इज व्हील इम्पैक्ट विद रोड ऑब्स्टेकल्स then we have this question number 4 lateral bending of the frame side members may be caused on account of weight of the passengers side wind engine torque braking torque so for question number 4 the right answer is side wind so here we have a conclusion that let for lateral bending it's the side wind and whenever they are asking for parallelogram shape it is due to the wheel impact and road obstacles and if you look at the second question wherein uh the vertical bending is asked it's the passenger's weight now coming to question number 5 the most effective section against bending is so we have rectangular bars round bar round hollow tube square hollow section always remember this is a very important question it appears in uh, ssc je also uh, in uh, other state rto exams and also for any type of competitive exam this question is even asked for interviews the most effective section against bending is so right answer is a square hollow section is the most effective against bending then uh, in this question question number 6 the basic automobile structure consist of a suspension system axles wheels and so for this question uh, keep in mind that steering if it alone will be there there will be lacking in brakes there will be lagging in lights so if there is a frame agar ek frame rahega to in frame you can have your steering system you can have your brakes you can have your lights so frame if it it is there in the automobile structure along with suspension axle and wheels it will do the work so frame is the right answer Our next question is compared to framed construction the frameless constructions of automobile is economical so they are asking you for condition uh, whether it is like always whether produced in small quantities produced in large scales a very simple funda if anything you produce in large scale then only uh, that particular thing can be economical so simple when produced on large scales the most commonly used power plant for automobiles is so here right answer will be ic engine gas turbines are used for airplanes and batteries cannot be used as power plant for automobiles so ic engine will be the right answer now coming to this question question number 9 a clutch is usually designed to transmit maximum torque which is in case of clutch when you are asked saying about maximum engine torque a clutch is usually designed to transmit maximum torque which is 150% of the maximum engine torque per turn the inertia of rotating parts of the clutch should be minimum coefficient of friction for the clutch facing is approximately 0.1 0.4 0.8 1.2 so for this question The right answer is zero point four. The value of mu for clutch face is equals to zero point four. The maximum value of axial force at the clutch which driver can apply while driving without getting fatigued is approximately. So always remember that the minimum value of axial force they have asked uh, that the driver can apply on the clutch. so 100 newton is the right answer for this this is the normal force that a human being can apply without getting fatigued 
द मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन द मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर विच द क्लच फेसिंग कैन विद स्टैंड विदाउट बींग डैमेज इज अबाउट सो राइट आंसर हियर इज हंड्रेड के पी ए सो रिमेंबर इन दीज टू क्वेश्चन वन टाइम वी हैव बीन आस्ट अबाउट द ड्राइवर हु इज ड्राइविंग एंड द अदर टाइम दे आर आस्किंग यू रिगार्डिंग द क्लच फेसिंग सो हंड्रेड के पी ए एंड हंड्रेड न्यूटन दैट इज समथिंग यू शुड रिमेंबर क्लच इज लोकेटेड बिटवीन द ट्रांसमिशन एंड द इंजन रियर एक्सल प्रोपेलर शाफ डिफरेंशियल सो वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इंजन इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस parts of the cover assembly that hold the pressure plate against the clutch plate are this one is an important question release levers thrust bearings struts springs so these are springs are holding the pressure plate against the clutch plate always remember this thing and these springs are also called as retracting spring cushioning springs in clutch plate are meant to reduce so a very simple torsional vibration is not correct vehicle speeds no uh, jerky starts yes so jerky starts is the right answer and not none of the above cushioning springs are provided for releasing the jerky starts come question number 17 a thrust bearing should come into contact with the release levers when the vehicle is stationary vehicle is running very fast vehicle is running very slow when the clutch pedal is repressed that will be the right answer clutch coil with springs the wear of the clutch facing will cause clamping load to decrease increase remain constant become infinite so become infinite is certainly not the answer and if the clutch coil is with springs and the wear of the clutch facing is already done definitely clamping load cannot be definitely clamping load cannot be constant so we have to lie in between these two options increase or decrease all right so most of the people think that increase the right answer but right answer is decrease wearing of the clutch facing will cause the clamping load to decrease clutch facings are attached to the plate by steel rivets brass rivets aluminum screws steel screws most of the people they go and target the steel screw uh, steel screw or steel uh, rivets but then let me tell you these two are not the right answer aluminum screws is not the right answer brass rivets is the right answer so clutch facings clutch facings are attached to the plate by means of brass rivets now we have next question free pedal play in car clutches is about 3 mm, 30 mm, 60 mm, 100 mm. Uh, think for a while. So 3 mm is not the right answer. 60 mm and 100 mm is not the answer. 30 mm is the answer. Free pedal play is used in that is used in car clutches is about 30 mm. The purpose of transmission in an automobile is to vary the speed of the automobile. to vary the torque at the road wheels to vary the power of the automobile none of the above so none of the above is certainly not the answer to vary automobile no uh, to vary the power of automobile no to vary the speed of the automobile no to vary the torque yes to vary the torque at the road wheels is the right answer let's see next question question number 22 the increase of torque in a vehicle is obtained by this is a very simple question and i believe that all those who have done mechanical engineering they can definitely do this uh, question it's a simple question so uh, increasing of torque they have asked so all of the above cannot be the answer decreasing petrol consumption cannot be answered decreasing power and speed so decreasing power can certainly not be the answer if you have to increase torque definitely you have to decrease the speed oh nothing very difficult in this we all know p is equals to 2 pi nt upon 60 so if we make 
this power constant this whole thing a constant then we have only two variations left in between n and t so if n will increase definitely t will decrease if n will decrease definitely t will increase so a simple question i believe uh, all of you would have answered this question now next question two advantages of using helical gear rather than a spur gear in transmission are high strength and low cost high strength and less end thrust low noise level and high strength low noise level and economy high strength and low cost not the answer high strength less end thrust not the answer noise level will not the answer low noise level and high strength is the right answer by using synchronizing device the two involved adjacent gears have their speeds increased reduced equalized or unequalized so synchronizing devices if you are using definitely the two gears which are involved will have equal speed and that's why it is a synchronizing device next question the purpose of gearbox in an automobile is to vary speed vary torque provide permanent speed reduction to disconnect the road wheels from the engine when desired so gearbox is definitely not for varying the speed uh not for for something like permanent speed reduction kind of thing or to disconnect the road wheels that is definitely not the option the right option is varying the torque next one the cooling system of an automobile engine is most simple when the engine is placed at the front center rear on the left rear on the right so very common if you see any car or any automobile structure you always know if this is the front side and this is the rear side at the front most of the time engines are placed here engine is placed here that most of the engines are getting the benefit of getting air cooled so no way we cannot put it on the left right or center but the right answer will be in the front cooling system of automobile is most simple when the engine is kept at the at the front so coming to next next question in case of four wheel drive vehicle clutch operating linkage is simplified cooling system is simplified the road adhesion is increased the road adhesion is decreased so if it's a four wheel drive it can be represented by saying 4 into 4 where first digit represents number of wheels and the second digit uh, reminds you of the number of wheels which are driving so if it is say 8 uh, into 2 or say 6 into 4 kind of vehicle it means there are total 6 number of tires out of which four are driving wheels now coming to the question uh, if it is a four wheel drive vehicle which of the following options is correct so clutch operation linkage is simplified no no not that that's not the answer cooling system is simplified no no that's not the answer now road adhesion is increased or decreased so road adhesion is increased that is the right answer so always remember for a 4 by 4 uh, vehicle drive four wheel drive vehicle the road addition is increased next question in a simple planetary gear set the output members to increase torque is always the so they are asking you a simple planetary gear set the output members to increase torque is always the none of the above is not answer sun gear cannot be the answer ring gear cannot be the answer planet gear is the right answer for this next one in a simple epicyclic gear set the output member to increase torque in reverse is always the again similar pattern question to increase the torque in reverse they have asked so none of the above is not the answer sun gear not the answer planet gear is not the answer 
ring gear is the correct answer so remember these type of questions they might appear in exams central gear of a epicyclic gear set is called a ring gear not the answer planet gear not the answer none of the above not the answer sun gear is the right answer so i have taken 30 questions i will be uploading more such videos subscribe us like us and comment if you like the video thank you so much for watching my video